Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're doing something a little interesting here today. Um, you guys may remember this from a few videos back. This is the uh, model K45 KitchenAid that we completely restored and we put this um, uh, Pearl Sparkle uh, powder coat finish on it. And we had an issue with the capacitor here. The capacitor is no good. So, I mean, this has a, a dead short end. These are, I'm finding, it pretty much impossible to replace. So, what we're going to attempt to do now is we're going to disassemble this again, and we've got some new parts here that we're going to we'll open up right now and check out. And we're going to attempt to make this into a solid state control K45. You see here we've got a new K45 SS field coil assembly. It's got all our, our leads and connections on it. Got the connection for the brush holders. Uh, we've got a new phase board here. Which has all our connections on it. And the part that they had bought that was wrong for the K45, but it will it's the right part that we need to make this the into a solid state control. So we're going to go through, we're going to just start disassembly on this and you know getting everything out of here and um, putting in the parts that we need to make this solid state controlled.
Okay, I'm coming back to add this part into the video here. Um, when I went to editing, I noticed, uh, you know, I, I'm missing a whole bunch of, of video from, uh, you know, I got to the point where I took the fuel coil out of here, the original fuel coil, and I was prepping the other one to put in, and then there was no video after that until it went together. But um, to go over what had to be done, you can't change out that you have to uh, change your the, the connectors on the end of your of the fuel coil. Um, you could use a uh, you know the original K45 fuel coil. You just have to rewire the way that, that that's hooked up. But um, to get another fuel uh, fuel coil with the connectors that go onto the new speed plate, you have to cut off the uh, the tabs on the end that go into the solid state uh, brush holders. And you can't put the solid state brush holders in here because they have a like a ridge on them that goes into a uh, machine part in the body so you have to use these with the clips on them and you have to attach those clips to the end of the field coil so you gotta do a little soldering for that um, you can reuse the armature if you want or you can use a, uh, the armature from a solid state this is the armature from a, so from a solid state parts machine I had in here um, and also the rear bearing plate in here you have to swap out I put the one from a the, the solid state parts machine in here, um, the speed control plate, and then of course you have to add the uh, phase board in there. So, what was replaced in this one was the, uh, the fuel coil armature, rear bearing plate, um, the uh, speed control plate, and the and the uh, phase board. Oh, and the cord as well. Um, you know, the easiest thing to do, I think, would be probably just rewire the fuel coil that's in there, reuse the armature, and um, you just have to you have to pick up the uh, rear bearing plate, which is available, um, the the cord, the speed control plate, and the phase board, and you know, for you know maybe a hundred bucks in parts, you could uh, you know get your K45 running. Again, you know, if it's got a, a capacitor problem, you can turn it into a solid state. And, uh, you know, at that point, it's it's usable again, and when parts wear out, they're replaceable. Um, unlike those reasons, there are those capacitors in the, in the original K45s and the K5s. Those capacitors, I, I was not able to find a capacitor anywhere. I did see uh, somebody offering a replacement one online, but it even stated in there that it's not a, a permanent solution. It's, it's just a temporary quick fix so I'm assuming that capacitor burns up and the original ones for these are just impossible to find so solid state is a pretty good option to go ahead and convert it over um, you know I, I learned a lot from doing this one and now I, I mean I feel pretty confident I could easily do another one now um, you know it's it's a little more involved than I thought it was I thought maybe I could just swap the plate and fasten the uh, phase board to there but um, that rear bearing plate does have to be changed and oh and also the the arm that connects to the speed control that goes back you have to replace that as well because the original one from the uh, K45 or the K5 will not work on there you need a solid the one from a solid state that's got the big plastic piece on the end because that operates the switch and pushes the speed control plate and it works differently than than the other uh, speed control plates from the uh, non-solid state version so yeah there's some uh, definitely some things that has to be switched over on it um, but I mean it, it can be done and uh, I think my next project is uh, we have a um, uh, it's a uh, well, what is it uh, Montgomery Ward it's a Montgomery Ward mixer but it's basically it's a rebranded uh, KitchenAid 4C and I think my next project that I, my next conversion will be converting that one over to solid state. I want to see if I can get that one converted to solid state as well because that one's also got a bad capacitor in it, but it's at the point where it just runs rough. It's not dead shorted where it runs at one speed like this one. This one was dead shorted and it ran at one speed, um, but now we've got four inch speeds back in there, so um, you know, I think the owners will be happy to get this one back and put it back to use. Okay, happy to finally have this one done and able to get it back to the owners. I know they've been waiting a long time on this one. Um, but finally got the right part in uh, a uh, phase board that was made for 110, 120 volts versus a 230 volt one uh, that I had ordered before. Um, so, you know, a lot of time was wasted trying to figure out what was wrong with it there. You know, by, by you know, I mean, I, I blame it on me for ordering the wrong part, but uh, when I went to the site, I mean, it was the first 
phase board that was in the list, so I just went and ordered it and um, didn't even think about you know that the fact that it could be a 230 volt one, and it doesn't say right in the description either. So um, yeah, that was my bad for the most part. But um, anyways, we got it back together now, and uh, let's go ahead and fire this thing up and give it a listen to. So you can see we got our range of speeds in there, um, and uh, you know it, it runs now. So um, I'm happy about that. I wish I would have got the right part. This was a uh, a pretty big um, undertaking, more than I thought it would be. There was a lot more parts that had to be swapped out on here, uh, as opposed to just just adding a couple parts to it, you know, or replacing a couple parts. We replaced more than we wanted to, but um, I think it could be done, you know, with some rewiring if you use the original. Um, the original fuel coil as well. You just have to rewire it the way it's all hooked up. But um, anyways, uh, you know this one's a wrap. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will get back to those as soon as I can. I'll, you know, try to answer those for you. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know that you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified of any other videos that we post in the future. But um. Anyways, uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you on the next one.